There's no address book in here. Maybe we should try Mario's again. That's where she went the night her mother locked her out. I already called him. He still hasn't seen her. What about that guy she was studying with? Oh, you mean the kid she got caught smoking dope with? Good old, what's his name? His name was Alex. I think she called him X. Anyway, why don't I go downstairs and see if I can find a number for him? Okay. Look on the bathroom wall. Would it help if I said you were right and I was wrong? I don't care about that. I just hope we find her before she gets in any more trouble. I thought I was helping. But the truth is, she was spiraling out of control ever no. since she got here. At least you tried to make a difference. Most people never do. I should try that approach. There are enough jaded people in this world. You stick to being compassionate because you wear it really well. I've missed you. Scanlon here. I'll be right there. What? What? There's a jumper on the roof of the hospital. I have to go. Oh, my God. Go. Go. I'll keep looking for Lark. That is very generous, considering you are the best. Oh. You page me if you find her, yeah, okay? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled that your father wired all of Rex's money into my Jack's accounts, but I got to sit around and watch those darn vultures try and gobble up those darn creditor vultures. Oh, you'll nurse Jax back to health. It'll just take some time. I know you will. You're too stubborn not to. Well, I'm just impatient. I'm not patient. You know, patience is like waiting a long line that just keeps getting longer and longer. I'm not used to having to nickel and dime it, Doc. I want to bring home lots and lots of bacon. Oh, well, we're not exactly in the poorhouse yet. I have revenues from my book coming soon. Oh, already? Well, at least something good will come out of that book. My publisher called this morning. She says the sales are really starting to kick in. Well, good. Fabulous. One of us and this couple should be successful. Well, in my mind, that is and will always be you. You don't look right. Something looks a little bit off, maybe a little bit droopy. What's going on? I don't know, Lucy. You know, sometimes you feel like you've done all the healing that you have to do, and then something comes along and blows the lid off of everything, and you're left staring at the same old wound. What, what, what wound? I had a talk with Victor about Ryan and my mother, but he just won't tell me what events in my book he thinks are real. Did they tell you why not? Because it would be too painful for me and for him. And you think there's more? Oh, I've tried rereading my book, trying to trigger my memory and figure out what it is he wouldn't tell me. And I had this dream. From the way you look, what, was it a dream or a nightmare? It was about Ryan. OK, that answers that question. Hey. Why don't you just try and forget about it? Because every time you deal with Ryan, you go to a sort of dark place, you know? Ryan was telling me that I'm naive, that I believe everything I hear. I think he was saying that Victor is lying. Doc, you have to keep in mind, it was just a dream. But Lucy, what if it's my subconscious talking to me? Oh, Doc, don't jump to conclusions. OK, maybe this is just kind of manufactured because Victor's here. You have not been around your father in a very long time, and maybe his proximity is just Making all these old feelings well up inside of you. Maybe so, but whatever it is, I'm going to get to the bottom of it right now. Uh, that's good. Um, cleaning. I I've always heard that cleaning could be a little therapeutic. You know, I've never tried cleaning for that, but I've never tried cleaning. But that's a good idea. This isn't spring cleaning. This is, these are Victor's things from the home. Oh, well, then what were they doing in the closet? Because I snuck them out of Victor's room while he was taking a nap. Doc, are these things that we've already sorted or not? No, he wouldn't let me go through this box, and I think he's hiding something. Oh, so you're just gonna snoop, is that it? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. You know me, Miss Snoop. But it's just, maybe if he's trying to hide something, maybe there's a very good reason for that? Well, I tried direct confrontation, and he just won't budge. So I guess I'll just have to find out on my own. Well, you look like the cat who swallowed the canary. Just not sure if you like the taste. <laughs> that was a headhunter. There's a hospital in San Diego who wants to know if I'm interested in running their intern program. Really? Well, I didn't realize you were hoping to move on. Well, I wasn't. They called me. It wasn't the other way around. Hmm. They offered to send me a ticket to fly out for the interview. 
Do you expect to move into administration permanently? I mean, you're a great administrator, but your specialty is emergency medicine. Well, they would groom me to run it. Hmm. They're opening a new state-of-the-art emergency room. Well, GH will probably make you a great counteroffer. Hmm, not necessarily. I wasn't even first choice for chief resident. Well, telling them about the offer should give you a lot of satisfaction. No, well, that's not how I operate. I would pursue this because it's a fantastic opportunity. Yeah, it's wonderful. <clears throat> and there's certainly nothing here to keep you at General Hospital. So I think you should go on the interview. I do. Does the jumper show any signs of drug or alcohol abuse? No, she seems coherent. Is she talking? Well, she won't say much, but I did get her to tell me her name is Lark. Oh my God. Wait. I know her. You can approach. Just don't spook her. going to be okay. No, no, it's not. I hate you. Don't come any closer. I will do it. I swear I will. Go away, Frank. I can't do that. Frank, maybe you should back off. You're freaking her out. This is my kid. I am not leaving her out there. Okay, try to keep her calm. I am not your kid. You don't want me anymore. That is not true. But I didn't come here argue with you or upset you if you want me to go I'll go whatever you want you're in control just don't come any closer stay right here no sudden movements I promise I'm sorry I made you so mad at me. You think I am a baby. You think I'm some puppy. You can walk on a leash or lock up in some cage if you don't like what I do. I am a grown-up. You're right. You are more mature than I realized. And you've also been dealing with so much stress for way too long. It's amazing what you've been through. I am just sorry that I wasn't able to be more of a help to you. You didn't want to help me. You wanted to control me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do, do me a favor. Just step back from the ledge. Just, just a tiny bit. If you're going to jump, I can't stop you. But I, I don't want you to fall accidentally. All that I'm trying to say is that I have been doing a lousy job parenting you. I obviously wasn't ready for the responsibility. I, I blew it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. guy. Boy, he had big feet. Could this possibly be my doc? If he's wearing a pocket protector, it is. <laughs> no, you were never a geek. You never will be. Look at that. It's a picture of Ryan and me. Oh. Must have been taken right before we were separated. Look at you, too. You know what? You are smiling. It looks like you were having a lot of fun there. This was taken on a trip to... <laughs> to... Well, I can't remember the name of that lake, but I do remember we spent the whole day in the water. We even had matching sunburns on our noses. You must have loved each other very, very much. Yeah, we did. We were inseparable. I cannot even imagine what that would have been like. It would have been so horrible when Victor separated the two of you. I was only four years old. I don't think I've ever experienced anything so utterly disorienting. And Victor wouldn't talk about Ryan at all. I began to wonder if I'd made him up. <laughs> Dude, why, why do you think Victor wouldn't just talk about him? I don't know. I, 
don't know, but I'm going to find out if I have to go through every old box of junk he owns. I'm sorry. What? What do you think you're doing? We're trying to sort some things out here, Victor. How dare you Vic rifle through my belongings? Victor, this picture of Ryan and me, where was it taken? Uh, what is it? My, I begged you. I begged you not to do this. Victor, you have no right to pull through my things. I never, never, ever thought that I would miss the home. But at least there, I had some semblance of privacy. All right, Doc, I think what we should do here is look on the bright side. At least we know his medication is working, and he's able to express himself. 